Thieves in Indiana are stealing copper cable and selling it for cash. WRTV's Griffin Gonzalez found companies like AT&T have been hit a number of times and are now offering a reward. It's not just a one victim, it kind of impacts others because they're down services. For thieves around Indiana, copper is the new gold. We've seen a dramatic uptick in, uh, in copper theft, and it's usually something that kind of goes unbeknownst to most people until your internet access goes down. According to AT&T, thieves in Marion, Shelby, and Brown counties are climbing telephone poles and digging into the ground to steal large amounts of copper cable. They then sell it to scrapyards and make anywhere between two and four dollars per pound. So unlike the catalytic converter theft issues that we've seen and we got the um, the state involved in and scrapyards that take those have to report those when they come in. We don't see that with with this copper so much. It's created a headache for the Hoosiers that are on AT&T's network. These service interruptions can be pretty significant, especially when it's you know, a critical customer like a hospital or something of that nature. AT&T hopes the community can help and wants to make it worth their effort. We're obviously offering a $5,000 reward for any detailed information that leads to the arrest and conviction of somebody stealing copper theft or recycling. We want to make sure that they have all the proper credentials. They have that vest on typically showcasing who they are, who they work with, and we can figure out, hey, is this person supposed to be here? And the phone company has a stern reminder for what can happen when you steal copper. Not only you're taking your life into your own hands, but you could be jeopardizing the lives of others who are depending on the communications network. Reporting Griffin Gonzalez, WRTV. Right now, information on how to report signs of copper theft are available on our website, WRTV.com. Just search for this story.